Night of the Veggie Monster by George McClements. I love this story. This is a great story to think about small moments that you want to write about or tell about. Something terrible happens every Tuesday night. It's not the pork chops or the mashed potatoes. It all starts when I'm forced to eat. Time for another fun-filled hour. Peas. A whole three tonight. Who do you think is telling the story? Yeah, the little boy. And these little quotations and speech bubbles, there's parents. My parents act as if I'm making it all up, but I'm not. I wonder how soon before he starts. Oh, it should be any minute now. They have no idea what one tiny pea does to me. with just the slightest touch. Uh -oh. It begins and we're off. My fingers become all wiggly. You guys wiggle your fingers. Uh, I knew he would start with the fingers. As the pea rests in my mouth, my eyes begin to water. My toes twist and curl up in my shoes. Oh, see if you can do that. That's a new one. I squirm in my seat. I try to keep control, but the pea is too strong. I start to transform into A veggie monster, ready to smash the chairs, ready to tip the table, ready to great pork chops tonight, honey. I swallowed the pea. I actually swallowed the pea. It tastes all, all right, really. Quite a performance this evening. I particularly enjoyed the toe curling. Well, I guess peas are okay, but there is still a danger. <sighs> What's the danger, you guys? Because tomorrow is Wednesday, and on Wednesday we have, <gasps> wait for it, broccoli. Here we go again. I love this story, The Veggie Monster by George McClements. Definitely something to add to your collection. As a teacher, we use it to talk about small moments when we're writing in the classroom. How you can take one small thing and write a whole entire book about it. Describing how it makes you feel, how other people see it. I also love his illustrations, how he combines drawings and real life items. I think it's amazing. And I really like the parents. They're pretty funny. I hope you enjoyed the story.